Hi, and welcome to the Through Night Channel. In this video, we're going to be discussing what an LED is. Now, of course, we all kind of know what an LED is, right? It's that thing that's down in the flashlight that creates the light. But today, we're going to go into a little bit more detail. So first off, the acronym LED stands for Lights Emitting Diode. And its purpose is to turn electrical energy into light. Now, I have some random flashlights here just to kind of compare and look at. First one on the left here is the Thrunite Catapult Mini V2. This has an LED in it. The next one here is the Thrunite Catapult V6 SST70, which just so happens to have an SST70 LED in it. All right, next up here is light from Olight. This is the Warrior Mini 2, also has an LED. Then we have the Streamlight Wedge, also has an LED. And we have a traditional mag light. This happens to be a 2C cell mag light. And this one right now is sporting an incandescent bulb or a standard light bulb. This also has an LED module that's hidden in the, the butt cap here, which we'll talk about later. All right, so this is kind of like our, our reference here for light bulbs compared to most modern flashlights that have LEDs. So how does the LED actually function? There's an electrical current that passes through a microchip which illuminates the tiny little light sources that we call an LED. And the result is visible lights. Now the LED, the first LED, was invented in 1962. The first incandescent bulb, the original light bulb, was invented in 1879. Now of course there's pros and cons to everything, but the reason that most modern flashlights have LEDs is because there's more pros than there are cons to the original light bulb. All right, so first off, let's take a look at some of these LEDs. So first we're taking a look at the little LED that is in the Catapult Mini V2. Next up we have the Catapult V6. And again, this is an SST70 LED. Now if you look down in the head of this Warrior Mini 2 from Olight, you can see that LED as well. And there's the LED in the Streamlight Wedge. However, when we're looking down into the mag light, we can see we have a traditional bulb. Now let me take this uh, head off here to show you that. It just unscrews in this flashlight. And I'm actually going to keep the light bulb inside the light and turn it on so I can give you an example of how this works. So there we are zoomed in a little bit so you can see this. Now how this works is just like any old light bulb. If you look down in there, we have two pieces of metal and a little wire that goes across. And what happens is an electrical current gets passed through the wire. The wire heats up to a glowing red, so much so that it creates light. So if I turn this on, and I let the camera focus, you can see how we have light that's generated from that. That little tiny wire is quite literally red hot. And that is what actually gives us light. Now in this mag light, this actually happens to be the backup bulb okay that's stored inside of the tail cap here so i take this off take this little collar off you can see this is our actual little light bulb but this particular light actually comes with an led all right so I pop the spring off and then inside the tail cap maybe a little foam piece and the foam piece is actually where the bulb is stored all right, so we have the LED on the left and the light bulb on the right. So here's a real close shot of that. LED is on the left and the light bulb is on the right. So I put the incandescent bulb back in the tail cap as a backup. Uh, and we're going to put the LED module in here because it does perform better. Not only does it have a better beam, but it's also brighter. Just so happens to be an upgrade. Okay, so same thing. When I push the button, we turn this on. Now we have an LED that's giving us light. And of course, the entire head that has the reflector in there, all right, that's what's actually going to focus and concentrate our light. As I rotate this, we could tighten it down. And then this happens to be adjustable. All right, so you can focus that beam for spread or have a tighter beam for distance. Now, unfortunately, the mag light in general is inferior to a lot of modern flashlights. Like the rest of these four flashlights have way more power, way more capability than this big old giant light. They have lithium ion batteries, 
So we have way more energy in a smaller package with uh, better performance. This is definitely an outdated piece of technology, but it's something that plenty of people still continuously use. Now there's lots of different advantages or pros to a modern LED compared to an original incandescent bulb. Um, LEDs are smaller. LEDs tend to be stronger. They also last longer, up to 10 times the lifespan of a regular bulb, and they're less fragile. If I happen to have the bulb in here and I accidentally drop this, it's physically glass. And all that has to happen is that little wire breaks and then it's no good anymore. You know, everyone knows how a regular light bulb works. Once it burns out, that's it. It's just more fragile. Now I did print a quick diagram just to show you these up close a little bit better because uh, the zoom on this camera can't get so close to where you really see how this is broken down. All right, so we see the top, the whole top here is an epoxy lens. Then we have the reflective cavity. It's like a little cup that's in here. All right, the LED chip, and then a bond wire. Now on both sides, these posts that come down, you can't see it because obviously this is just a diagram, but there'd be a positive and a negative. The positive is the anode, and the negative is the cathode. All right, and here's another diagram showing that in kind of a 3D uh, picture. Now because of the technological advancement and advantages of an LED, 99 plus percent of flashlights on the market, especially handheld flashlights, EDC style flashlights, do use LEDs. And because we can change the color of LEDs to like a warm white that mimics what a regular light bulb might look like, there's no huge advantage of having regular old fashioned light bulbs in our flashlights. The only times you really see that are specifically with the brand Maglite, which is very well known. And sometimes if you happen to go to say a dollar store or something, and you buy a very inexpensive flashlight, maybe something that costs literally a dollar or two or three dollars, sometimes you will still find them um, you know, utilizing an old fashioned incandescent bulb. But as I mentioned before, they're way more fragile. They just don't have the same capabilities. So therefore we really don't see them very often. It's quite rare. LEDs have taken the market by storm and every single year they just get more and more advanced and they're offer more and more light. So if you didn't know what an LED was before, hopefully now you do. If you're new to the channel, Through Night does product giveaways. It's completely free. All you have to do to enter is comment on these videos and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.